Hello children. Today we are going to discuss the second paper of the year end evaluation grade 11. Let's start with question 9 which is based on vocabulary. Ekiyanne mema prashne di obage vachana ingrisi vachana bhavite hakiyawa pidimada mena balanama. You can get 5 marks for this question. Here you get five blanks which you have to select a similar words for what is given in the brackets. Remember there are some extra words as well. Let's look at the given words. What are the given words? Luxurious, affordable, tranquil, shallow, amenities, approximately, momentous, destination and fringe. Can you guess the meanings of these words? Now you have to read the words within brackets. As well, you have to read the passage. Let's look at number one. It's journey's end. Mukha the journey's end kiyani. Yankisi gamanantya. So what is the similar word given there? That is destination. Now let's try with others. What is the second word? Edge. Do you know the meaning of the edge? In the sentence it says beaches are edged with coconut trees. So what is the similar meaning? Similar word we can use here, it is fringed. Evage, you have to find the other answers as well. We'll see. There are, uh, now we'll move to question three. The word is just about. So read the sentence. The eastern and northern coastal beaches change from Arugambe up to Kuchaveli, just about 275 kilometers long. Just about. Durak di latina. Asana vashen. Kienekade. So, uh, if you don't know the correct word for this, by reading this sentence, you can guess the word. Just about. Pamana. So the correct word is approximately. Asana mashin kieneka. Fourth question. So what is the word given in the bracket of little death? What is the meaning of it? Kuda madagyamburu kieneka. The similar word is shallow. Shallow kiela kianet gambura adui kieneka. Now the blank five. The word is calm. Calm, we say it's very calm and quiet. The word we can take here is tranquil. Now the last word is unforgettable. So the similar word for is it is momentous. Good. Now you all have completed that part. But remember, you have to study the words given in your textbook. So, you have to learn many new words to do these types of text. Now, let's move to next one. Now, We'll move to text 10. This question is based on grammar. The given task is underline the most suitable word within brackets. Okay, before doing this text, you have to read the passage as well. So look at the first blank. It starts with, uh, with the word and. You know, when we start with the article and 
the next word should be a noun or a noun with an adjective. So the given word within brackets are importance, important, importantly. After brackets, they are, the given word is destination. Then, the kathra sambandhya hita gandu on. Thagin api balamu vachani. So what kind of a destination would it be? Kohoma destination e kak vinnad. You know, destination is a noun. So before that, there should be an adjective. You can find an adjective from the bracket. So what is the adjective given? The word should be important. The second blank. The word given words are attracting, attractions, attracted. Now find the word given before the blank. It is mysterious. It is an adjective. So the next word must most probably would be a noun. Now find a noun given within the brackets. Attracting is a verb. Attraction, it's a noun. Attracted, again, a verb. So what is the most suitable word here? It is attractions. Now the blank three. Read the word given in the brackets. You should be very careful about the words given before the blanks and at the word given at the end. Api hama velema balanuni his ten at a mulintiana vachane, ha pasuatiana vachane again. Then mulintiana vachane tamai, many. Why do we use many? Api many bavita karanama, ganankaranda pull one dekadu. Ekiane countable nouns will be. The word given after the blank is stories. Enam noun nekata mulin en no ni mukadda. Adjective veka. So the answer is mythical. We'll move to the fourth blank. After the blank, the word deep is given. So what are the words given in the brackets? Hidden, hid, hide. So what is the suitable word? Do we say hid deep? No. Hide deep? No. So the correct word is hidden deep. Hidden deep in the forest close to northwest side. Right? Let's go to the fifth blank. The word before the blank is ancient. You know, ancient is an adjective. So what would be the next word? Most probably it would should be a noun. So what is the noun you can get from the brackets? You have to select a noun. It is ruins. It can apparent in Atabun Kienik. Right, move to the sixth one. Read the words given within brackets. Surround, surrounding, surrounding. Surroundings. Look at the words before the blank. That is thick. Thick kya ni mo kada bohumar? Gana. It is an adjective. So here we have the surrounding. The thick surrounding. Seventh blank. What are the words given within brackets? Unlike, likely, unlikely. Here, guess are unlikely to hear. The answer is unlikely. Eighth, eighth question. The look at the words before the blank. There is an article. So read the three words given. Occasion, occasionally, occasional. Trust of animals. Darwin, api rustle, rustle of, rustle of animals. Rustle kya ni nao ne ka. Shab dea keke, ikate ne ma chaniya. A word comes with noise. That is a noun. So before a noun, 
you have to take an adjective. So find the adjective, it is occasional. The next one, ninth one. Now look at there is word being. It should be the past tense or past participle verb. Keeping that in mind, we'll go through the words given. We have to find the past participle verb. Neglect is a past participle verb. No, neglecting, no, that is not. Then neglected, yes. So the word is neglected. Now the last question. Before the blank, there is a word wild. Within brackets, we have taming, tamed, untamed. So wild, wild is, wild comes with untamed wild beauty, right? I think you can easily do these types of questions by practice with more practicing, we do more activities, more activities to practice these types of text. Now, we are going to look at the question 11. It is based on language proficiency. That means your overall knowledge of language. Such as word classes, nouns, verbs, adjectives, grammar knowledge, tenses, everything. But this is very easy. Now, I'm going to introduce an easy way of handling this question. So you can get more marks for this. You have to make a grid. I'm showing you how to make a grid up for this. Uh, before that, uh, we'll see how many blanks are there. Yes, there are 14 blanks, but they have given 15 words to fill these blanks. So there is an extra word. Let's start categorizing the words uh, into word classes. word classes Let's take the first word that is daily. What is the word class of it? It's an adverb. You know uh, when we add ly to a word that is an adverb or it can be adjective as well sometimes. Let's move to electrical. It's an adjective. What can you say about for, about for? We know it is a preposition. Next word is greatly. Again, you have it as adverb. Next word, imagine. It is something we do. So what is, that is come under verbs. Next word is lives. There are two meanings in this word. It may be lives or lives. We have to decide it according to the paragraph, according to the passage. Now our next word is off. What is off? You know, what is the word class of? Of. It is a preposition. So next word is read. It is an adjective, something we do. What about the next word technology? Again, it's a noun. You have another preposition too. What is the word class of little? It's an adjective. Next word is Think. So, what is the word class? It is something we do. Again, it's a verb. Transport. Transport. Good. So, it is again a verb. The last word is many. When we say many, it come, uh, It is a countable noun, something we can count. So we use many as a countable noun here. 
Now, first you re read the paragraph. You have to read the paragraph uh, and try to understand the meaning of it. Let's move on the first blank. Contributes is a verb. How do you contribute? There are two adverbs, daily and greatly. So how do we contribute? Greatly. We contribute greatly to something. Second blank. Without the life. So we need an adjective there for this blank. We have daily and electricity. Can we say electrical life? No, it is a daily life. So you can see the grid. I'm giving the grid after this slide. So you can refer to the grid and find the words. That is the easiest way. Let's discuss the third blank. Get the chance. Chance to enjoy. So you need a preposition. To any base form chance to enjoy. Fourth blank. With more relaxed. We have the word lives there. Right? Fifth blank. If we, fifth one, if we blank about it, subject is there. The verb is missing. Now we'll see the verbs there. So the suitable verb is think. Sixth one. The word is benefits. With what? Science and technology. So you, we, so we have to use benefits of the preposition. You can guess from two theorema. Big ones, well, yan ne ko humadar. Kudai ke sita. Ehinam, eh pasuwe ne from little things. Harimalesi, you have to guess. Hmm? Next one, it is about your language use. Api instance kiyala dhammut, mulete kohumade enne. Ethane for instance, ehinam, for kiyana machane, thante enama. Let's move into the ninth one. The morning paper. Which we so what is what are the what are we are what are, what are we going to do with the morning paper? So we need a verb. I put a verb morning paper. We have read that is something we do. We read newspapers. The last one, tenth one. Oh, no, tenth one, not the last. The next word starts with a. <laughs> it is an article it is it must follow a noun a result now the last one there's a blank with devices devices is a noun it can be an adjective so what are the adjectives we can take from the list i i told you that there's a list of Things, the word classes. So you refer to that word classes and find. Uh, the only adjective is electrical. So it is electrical devices. Then apit electrical devices will to There's a small mistake. Uh, that must be. Uh, mm, that must be life without electrical devices is hard to imagine. Right? The thirteenth one is starting with an article the. It should follow a noun. There we can use transport as a noun. So we can take the word transport for this blank. Now the last one. Science. Science ek conjunction science and so what is the word there should be another noun science science and technology 
So it's very easy. So I think you can easily do these type of questions and we'll, we have to make a grid like this. So look at the grid we made. This is the grid. So uh, first adverb, adjective, preposition, verb, noun and adjectives. So you have to find all the words into these, divide these, the words into these categories. Then it is very easy to fill the blanks. Now I'm going to move into question 12. This question is based on grammar. If you get this type of a text, you should consider the tensors you know. Let's take, uh, it is, let's re, first read it. Read and try to find the tense and the meaning of the complaint, this passage, small little passage. It is about Titanic. So uh, look at the example given. The given answer, is, they have given the answer. It is sunk. So what is the tense of it? It would be in past tense. You read the passage and try to understand the things. When you read these things, when you, you can understand that the may never had a good car in the end. In his apartment, you dug and win it. Very rich there. The past tense, past perfect, were the Kaktamaya Peter. How would you complete the first blank? The given word is take. So what is the past participle of the take? We can take had taken. And the next one, uh, number three, the first class accommodation, first class accommodation, the word is given. The doer, is, is there as a doer? No, then it is a passive voice tense. It is a past tense. It is passive, past passive. So how do you fit the blank? Hmm? Design, the verse, is a, yeah, design, design, the within brackets there's a word, design. So you have to form it to passive, past passive, verse designed. And now the next one. Hmm. Fourth one, yes, the word they have given had. So how do you turn it to? The past is had, right? And now the uh, eighth, uh, next one, uh, fifth blank, yes, sorry, fifth blank. It had only, it had only. So loose, the word given is loosed. So how do you turn into past? Lost, yes, the word is lost. Uh, uh, again, in the next one, uh, the last one, again, uh, it is in the passive. The doer is not mentioned. Remember, it is a passive past tense, singular past tense. That was, we, have, we can use verse. What is the past participle of spot? Spotted. So the answer must be was spotted. So I think you can understand the paper and you can easily find the answers by doing the things like this. So we'll continue with the other exercises as well. Thank you very much.